two, one, two seconds in. Oh, hello in YouTube land. Armando here. Hello. Uh, hello to my channel, if you're new to my channel. Uh, hello to the new subscribers. Hello to the new folks. And hello to my current subscribers and everyone who's there watching and people who just don't care and just stumbled upon this video and wondering what's this all about well it just so happens that i collect a lot of toys you know stuff like this stuff like this guy gi joe and stuff like this and of course wonder woman back there now you're wondering about these guns you're like hey those guns look cool do they fire yes they do well let me show you on this one the shotgun right here these are Legends of the Wild West. See, what you do, you get ring caps, cut them off the cap, off the ring, I mean. And they're like individual shotgun shells. See, and you load it right there. Look at that little thing. You push it down. Like that. Pump it. Like that. And then you fire. Then you fire again. See, look, doesn't work. The hell? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, try again. There you go. You just gotta hit it just right. Ta da! That's where the magic happens. The magic of gunpowder. Okay. Well, we established that this rifle here shoots also. Look at this. I did another video on this one. I think this was uh, the most recent one. So you pull the lever back, open it up, pull out the spent shell, like so. Grab another one. I had, I had already pre-cut these. You got to use scissors or... The box cutter freedom or whatever you have and you load it up right here look you push it in same same procedure push it in there see i got a little cut there pop it back in then you aim shoot him shoot him got him <laughs> cool anyway <whew. coughs> smoky so, okay, now, to demonstrate the other rifle, I don't know how many are in the series, the, the, the box doesn't list them, here, Sergeant Savage has one, see this one, pull the trigger back, lift up the top, Remove the spent cartridge or the shell. Put another one in. Look at this. Ah, yes, only in Texas. We're freedom loving Texans out here, so yeah. Guns are in our DNA. Yay! Look at that. Then you fire! Ah, look at that. Isn't that cool? And it's metal, look, die cast metal's heavy. It's got weight to it. Anyway. <laughs> Oof, powerful. Remove the spent shell. Okay. Put the gun down. Um, I was at a store called Worth Repeating. And it's a resale shop that has just a bunch of crap that people don't want and that think people will buy. So I was looking around and I found that da, da da da. Look for twelve bucks. Let me see. Move the camera up there. You see him? Can't see him. Okay, look. You see it on the box here. Look, GI Joe Retaliation Roadblock with an R. Got the Arashikagi symbol, which is like stupid. 
It's got major shelf wear on the bottom. Look at this. Like a chihuahua got to it or something. And on the back. I'll read you the back here. So we can make it get clear. G.I. Joe is the world's greatest special ops fighting force with top secret ninja training. From. What? The toughest of masters. Led by Ultimate Ninja Commando Roadblock, which is stupid, Hasbro. You're stupid. These elite heroes defend the globe from the evil forces of Cobra. Okay, Roadblock was never a ninja. Snake Eyes never trained him, and all he knew how to do was cook. In the cartoon, he cooked, and he rhymed. And he made a lot of food. So Roadblock is a chef. He ain't no ninja. Does he look like a ninja? Looks like a wrestler. Look, G.I. Joe team leader, Roadblock. He wasn't the team leader. Battles the evil Cobra enemy with unique on-the-fly weapon switching and martial arts moves. Sure, he could learn some moves, but he was not a ninja. You think a ninja, you don't think of Roadblock. You think of Snake Eyes. Kind of strange. Oh, look, also available. Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes. Yes, I had a chance to buy those when they were on clearance. And... Let's move the camera down. I didn't get them. I mean, they were like five bucks. I said, nah, those aren't going to sell. Nobody's going to buy limited articulation figures. And the Titan Heroes came on. Guess what? I started buying them. Well, uh... I don't even have to cut it open. Look, it's already been resealed. I think. Hold on. Let me pull it out of here. Hold on. Let's see what we let's see what we got here. What do we have here? Does it come out? It doesn't come out. Look, it's weird. All right. Hold your horse. The box cutter of freedom was going to intervene there. Uh, wait a minute. Okay. Did it come up from the bottom? Oh, I get it. They want you to open it from the side. It's going to be one of these things. Hold on. See, it's got a piece of cello tape right here. What the hell? Oh, it's not even meant to be open like that. How bizarre. Okay. They got Roadblock in with um, with rope. You see the rope right there? It's one of those knot systems. Okay. Undo the rope. You can use this to make a fuse. Don't cut it. Just unwind it. All right, hold on. Bear with me, folks. My struggles. I'm taking you on the journey with what it takes to open these. You ever buy one of these? They're, they're available, I think, on Amazon still. Or at your local flea market. And You're going to have to go through the same thing I did here. All right, back to the front. Okay, pull the rope, pull the rope, pull the rope. Okay. Pull Roadbuck out of there. So this is like an early Titan Hero type thing. Alright, the box is weird. We'll just set that on the ground. Reassemble that for later. Box cutter freedom to the side. Uh, look at all this fuse rope. It's like uh, what you get when you buy black cats. I don't know, do you guys pop fireworks on 4th of July? I live in a county in part of Texas that's rural enough that, yes, we can pop fireworks all we want. Okay, he's got Titan Hero articulation. It's very straight arms. Nothing that says it's screaming ninja at me. Uh, wow, Hasbro really dropped the ball on these. 
He's got his uh, Samoan uh, tribal tattoo on his arm there. The guns are... Oh, they were re they were pre-installed at the factory. They do come off, I think. Mm, maybe. Let me double check. Mm, maybe not. I don't know. No, they don't. Again, the guns are pre-molded on to the hands. So you can do that bullshit move like shoot sideways, which doesn't work. I used to be a security guard and I had a, well, I had a, what they call a Saturday night special. I went to the range. I tried shooting like that. <laughs> Never hit the target that even once. That's bullshit and they turn it to the side. So if you see any movies, Hollywood movies, where they do that, bang, bang, it's bullshit. Okay? Thank you very much. All right. Well, the gun sadly do not come out of his hands. He can't sit down, though. That's good. I paid 12 bucks for this guy. They wanted, uh, like, 25 originally. Let's lay him down here. Uh, he does look like The Rock. But... Um, he wasn't a good choice for Roblox. It should have been Terry Crews. And they didn't put the R right here on this piece of metal right here on this vest. So, yes, they dropped the ball big time. They need to put ball and socket joints here, here, elbow joints, removable guns, and holsters. But since retaliation came and left... Hold on, let's add some light to there. What does it say on the foot? It has some writing on here. Uh, Hasbro SA. It's got a long number. I don't know what it says. All rights reserved. Made in China. Something, something, something. Hasbro Incorporated. Three, three, one, zero, two, one. See that? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, they could make G.I. Joe's like this it's a good likeness it's a good scope just increase your articulation here 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 make the hands grip put some of these hands on their gung-ho hands joint here joint in the knee you really don't need one in the ankle and make the scopes better and you can you can have a gi joe team that's pretty good and for 10 bucks everything pre-molded you don't have to make clothes for them just do it like this well, anyway, that is Roadblock Ninja Commando Roadblock from G.I. Joe Retaliation. And I understand why it wasn't very popular. You know, got held back an extra year for release because they wanted to convert it to 3D. And then when I saw it, I was like, what? That was I waited all that time just to see that. And then the music they choose for these movies. No military theme, nothing specially composed. Um, there used to be a TV show. Uh, what was it called? Uh, it had that chick from, uh, what was it, Return of the Living Dead? She was one of the agents. They were like a G.I. Joe team. Uh, we'll come on late at night. I can't think of it, the name. They had a cool leader. I think there was like five, four or five in the group. They would go on these missions every, like every episode, and like take out terrorists, and then they'd come home. But she was that redhead, the one from, uh, I think it was Return of the Living Dead. What was her name? Clarkson. I don't know. She's real hot. Uh, she was in. Uh, I think she was in an episode of Firefly. She did some CSI episodes. You don't see her anymore making shows. I don't know. I haven't seen her. But, anyway, that TV show was what G.I. Joe should have been at the theater. The pit should have been in America. Like, under Fort Bragg. Duke's supposed to have blonde hair. You know, why can't they, why can't they custom build a vamp? There's so many custom vehicles that could be made. They could have made an original vamp. 
it had so many problems. That guy that did the first one, what was his name? Steven Summers? Wow. He dropped a ball on that first one. Nanomites. That was a, a good idea, I guess. But those exosuits that gave G.I. Joe's all these powers. What a load of crap. Should have made it taking the material seriously. You should have made it look cool. You should have done it like that show, that TV show. I wish I could think of it. Was it Spec Ops or... I don't know. Anyway, it had like a cool theme song also. Like a, like a rock edge to it. That's what would get people in the theaters. That's what would make people excited. And then Hasbro, I mean, you released this stiff thing, you know. Um, you went from all this articulation here to just five points here. Or seven, if you count the wrists. And why did you mold the guns in place? That's weird. How bizarre is that? Anyway, I mean, The Rock looked good. He looks like a Joe, but he's just not Roadblock. He could have been Heavy Duty. The perfect Roadblock would have been Terry Crews with a mustache. Give him the camo t-shirt. The Woodland camo. Terry Crews would have been the perfect Roadblock. He's got the muscles to show it, too. Hmm. We need somebody that knows G.I. Joe in and out. You know... I mean, they emulated the original military in the 80s. You know, they used like the A-10 uh, tank killer. And that was that thing for Cobra. What was that thing called? Not the Night Raven. The... <laughs> I can't even think of the, the name of those planes. But anyway, there were so many things they could have done right. Throw a bone to the fans. But hopefully when they do G.I. Joe 3, they'll fix some of these things. But... I would just reboot the whole series with somebody who knows the property. Like, big time knows the property. And it would be a big hit, international hit. I mean, it was made in America. They can just change it to for other countries. You know? Oh, they'll probably, they'll probably make the whole team Chinese for the, for the Chinese market. <laughs> That's probably what they'll do. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Ah. Anyway, this is G.I. Joe Retaliation Roadblock. Ninja Commando Roadblock. I'm surprised they didn't put the Arashi Kagi symbol all over him. Or like on his back or something, on his leg. Like, oh, look, he's a ninja. He's not a ninja. He's cool. But doesn't scream roadblock to me. Should have been Terry Crews. Anyway. It'll look good with my Titan heroes since they're all stiff. Gotta support the 10 inch line. So. If you like this video folks. Leave a comment below. I'll get back to you. I don't blame you if you hate this figure. You know. It's got its possibilities. Maybe when I get a 3D printer, I'll chop them up and I'll, I'll, I'll add articulation to them. And then paint them and stuff. Put the R right here and everything. Who knows? It's going to be a while, though. Anyway, folks, I hope that whatever you're doing uh, it turns out right. I don't care what it is. I'm sending you tons of positive energy. And love. Whatever it's going on right now. So. This is Armando signing out. I want you to have a good one. Whatever you're doing. Whether it's day or night. And I'll see you on the next video.